All right, so I'm just displaying a quick YouTube video to show you all the capability of the Epson 2350. The specs are as follows. It's got a contrast ratio of 35,000 to 1. It's got a lumens of 2800 brightness. It's 4K, the fake 4K, so basically double the resolution or almost double the resolution. And if you're watching a 4K video on YouTube, it looks fantastic. One thing I've noticed when you're watching a 4K Blu-ray versus YouTube, it does look a lot better. But when you're watching a video uh, like a nature video on YouTube, it looks fantastic. Like you can't even see the pixels. Now there are specific videos that don't look as good as what you're seeing right now but the quality is just really good for this projector. I've had this projector for about a month, so I've been just kind of watching random stuff and watching streaming. Um, I've watched a couple movies on it. If you're connected to a receiver, you're likely not even gonna be using the apps on the actual projector, which it does offer the Android TV. However, you would have to swap out, use the ARC port on the projector itself to be able to utilize that feature. Since I have the OLED connected to the receiver on the ARC, I have to use the secondary HDMI out, which the, my receiver has. It's a Marantz. Now let's talk a little bit about the pros and the cons. Definitely the biggest pro for me is the, the fact that you can get a projector that can project up to 300 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Could be up to 150, but I think it's 300. Um, I have it at 110 inches, which is more than enough for the size of this room, and their immersion is there. Another pro would have to be, I mean, if, if you combine it with a good audio, when you're watching bright, vivid scenes, I think it does a fantastic job of showing you just how awesome quality the, the video is. However, this is where my con comes through. Since it is HDR10 projector, it's not true HDR10, so it's really difficult to get HDR projected properly on a projector. The darks are just not, not there. The darks are definitely flawed. Uh, it looks very washed out when you're watching a dark scene sure y'all understand what I mean. I'm kind of spoiled by the OLED myself. Obviously that can be a deal breaker for many. It is a gaming projector. It's rated at 20 milliseconds on input lag and I can definitely understand that that is a uh, pretty good for a projector and I did some tests and I played Forza Horizon 3 on the Xbox One S and it, it did a pretty good job. It does have 1080p at 120 hertz if you make some adjustments in the projector itself i connected my playstation 5 to it and i played god of war it's been fun i mean i've never had a projector and let me know in the comments i mean do you have any recommendations for better projectors me personally i think the black levels kind of kill it for me a little bit when it comes to watching dark scenes like the last of us tv show for example but Another con I would say is that there's no 3D support and it's not a huge con, but I have a lot of 3D Blu-rays that I bought for an old Vizio 3D TV that I used to have. With that being said, the Epson 2350 is not for everyone, but it is a great starter projector. And if it's in your budget, if you're thinking about purchasing like a 65 inch $800 4K TV, the lower end you might as well just go for projector this one's about a thousand ninety right now at best buy you can get it for as low as nine hundred ninety dollars at best buy on sale i recommend it it hasn't taken away from anything um it's if you have a media room it works just fine in a media room if you're if you have light control um the, the projector is really bright so i guess it would work with the lights on but just to give you an idea, this is what it would look like with the lights on. Turn on media room. So you can see it, the image gets a little washed out, but with a little bit of light, it doesn't look too bad. And you, it's watchable. I mean, if you're watching a football game or soccer or anything like that, it's definitely worth a shot. All right, now I'm just gonna show you my settings. So I have it on low. Currently I'm using the vivid mode. Um, I've been using cinema a lot and I've been kind of doing multiple tests just to see what vivid would look like. 
And let me just show you what cinema looks like. Cinema gives you deeper, con deeper uh, contrast. However, it does wash out the image a little bit when you get to the darks. Um, I think Vivid kind of takes, takes the black levels and brings them back to a nor more natural looking tone. Um, I know that if it was a TV, I, I wouldn't be using Vivid. Vivid is just no bueno. However, in the projector, it's a little different. It, it's to me, it seems better in a projector, especially if you're watching something colorful. If you're watching a nature documentary like Planet Earth, uh, it looks amazing. Aquaman looked amazing on it. Put it back to vivid. Now the different settings. You can get to expert. I have everything set at 50 right now for the vivid. There is an image enhancement, the 4K. Right now it's not it's not doing the 4K enhancement on this video. When it's HDR, um, you would have to set that up. One thing to consider when you're using an Amazon Fire Stick like me, change the setting from auto to 1080p. When you change it to 1080p, it, it up converts it to 4K by doubling the resolution. With that being said, do I recommend this projector? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a great projector for most people. Um, especially if you don't, if you're happy with a budget 4K TV and you don't really pay attention to the blooming effects and um, the black levels, if that doesn't bother you, uh, this projector is perfect. Especially if you want, if you have a bigger room, you can get a huge size 300. But the further away you get, the worse the quality the projector gets. Best Buy came and set it up for me. However, I did manipulate it and enhanced it a little bit, got it all the way down to the edges. So yeah, recommend it for most people. Since I have an OLED, I can definitely tell the difference. It, it does bother me a little bit. So what I'm doing in the next uh, several days, Best Buy is going to come out here again and they're going to upgrade my projector to the Epson 3800 in which I'll be doing a, a review on that one as well. I think it's going to be a step up from this one. Definitely happy with the screen size. 110 inch for 11 and a half by eight and a half feet. Works really well. What do you guys think? I appreciate you guys watching this with me. And uh, thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys later.